March. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's September 30th, 2024, and uh, we got a little more negative information here. We just got an evacuation warning for Moon Ridge and parts of Irwin Lake. This is looking out that way right now. So we're gonna get a little bit closer. We're gonna drive all the way to the dam and the Little Arctic Circle again to take a good look at what's going on from, uh, from, from the side of it, if that makes any sense. But yeah, that smoke is nasty. In just a moment, I'm gonna read you guys the, the, uh, the Align Fire fact sheet for September 30th. And uh, yeah, everybody just keep this place, keep this mountain range in your thoughts and prayers. Keep the firefighters and everybody involved in fighting the fire in your prayers. And uh, yeah, scary stuff. We live in Moon Ridge, so I'm on edge now again. Um, but I'm, I'm hoping they can contain this. As I said, in just a second, I'll have a bunch of information I'm gonna read off to you guys. And then we're gonna go take some really, really, hopefully good looks at this thing. All right, hang tight. All right, you guys, so we're here at Stanfield Cutoff, taking a look at what is going on over there with the fire. We're gonna zoom in and I'm gonna read you guys the line fire fact sheet for right now. Okay, so what we've got going on is this is the, the fact sheet for September 30th regarding the fire. The line fire made a run up the Santa Ana River drainage today, the last few days of above normal temperatures have dried out both the vegetation and moisture from the air. Firefighters had expected some movement along the open line in this area. However, fire behavior exceeded expectations. The dry vegetation, steep slopes, and wind aligned yesterday to create conditions for a rapid fire spread yesterday. Due to this rapid fire growth, evacuation orders were issued for Barton Flats and Seven Oaks. Evacuation warnings are in place for Angeles Oaks and the southwest side of Big Bear Lake. Although work continues in throughout the fire, the Santa Ana River drainage is a priority for today. Additional crews and equipment are focused in this area. Four night flying helicopters are assigned to the incident and were actively dropping water in the drainage all last night. San Bernardino National Forest is, is now in unified command with San Bernardino County Fire, Cal Fire San Bernardino and the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Office. Additional crews, equipment, and air resources have arrived and more will be coming today. The closure orders for the forest remain in place. So also guys, so that's the, the uh, fact sheet, but so we just got a notification that Moon Ridge and I think South Irwin Lake are uh, have evacuation warnings now also. As a matter of fact, let me just... Let me just see here if it'll 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 tell us. <clears throat> okay, so first of all, road closures. Highway 38 is closed from the middle control road north of Angeles Oaks to Lakewood Drive and Lake Williams. The 330 is obviously closed in both directions from Highland to Live Oak. Let me get to the uh... Okay, so the evacuation order as in like you need to get the hell out is seven oaks the evacuation warnings which are level two are angeles oaks <clears throat> boulder bay area of big bear from the dam east to wild rose lane the community of big bear lake including moon ridge sugarloaf and south irwin lake so yeah this is uh this, this is crazy this is more more freaking evacuations but anyway let's go check out the fire we're gonna head over there Okay, so we're driving on Stanfield Cutoff now. Alright, we're gonna head over to the other side. 
over to the little Arctic Circle, guys. Got a little bit of a drive ahead, so I'm gonna shut off the camera and just bring up some uh, views the closer we get of what the heck is going down over there. See you in a second, folks. Some of these views are gonna get loud because I'm putting it through my sunroof. So I don't know how far away that technically is, but we are gonna get a much better perspective shortly. The Big Bear Village is just here, right here, right here to the left. And I've been seeing a lot of planes coming down here, so let's just, uh, let's get over there. Okay, coming around this corner, we should get a decent view. Right there. Look how dark that that cloud of smoke is. It's just so sad. Alright, we'll see you the closer we get to the dam. If if any aircraft get close enough, I will show you guys what's going on with those. Just one more time to show you the beauty of Boulder Bay. So you guys can see how beautiful this place is and what this fire is imposing on us. See you in a second. Wow, we just had a whole bunch of fire trucks just pass us, about seven of them, and my camera wouldn't hit record. It's the story of my life, I'm telling you. But I'm wondering what they're rushing out there for. Obviously, guys, obviously we have a fire, obviously, but why are they going over there? What's the emergency? All right, you all, we're driving over the Big Bear Dam right now. The fire is that direction right over there. As I said, we're gonna go down this way quite a few miles to the other side of the canyon to make sure that we can get some good views of what it looks like from over there. So we'll see you in a sec. Wow, that fire has moved a lot since a day and a half ago. A lot. When we come around this next bend, usually we're seeing a bunch of smoke right there where Snow Valley Ski Resort is. And it has moved way to the south. The further away we go, you can you, you can see it better over there. There's so much aircraft in the sky right now. It's pretty crazy. Just awful. So we're gonna go pretty much as far as we can go over here trying to get kind of perpendicular to it if we can. Okay, so we're kind of to the side of it. This is as far as we can pretty much go. You know, we're going to walk up here a little bit more. We're gonna walk up to this little area. I probably should have driven, but that's okay. Once again, we're on the Little Arctic Circle. I'm hoping there's an, an opening. There is right here. Perfect. So we're looking out towards like Angeles Oaks and Seven Oaks area. Oh man. 
Such a bummer. Well, we're gonna turn around and start to head back, but I will be doing views coming the other direction. It's deep in, in that canyon right there in the Santa Ana drainage area. The reason why they've evacuated Sugarloaf and Moon Ridge and parts of, of Irwin Lake is because uh, just on the other side of that mountain right there, that's where our neighborhoods are. So fingers crossed and prayers be said. Again, like on top of that hill right there, if this fire goes anymore in that direction right there, yeah, we're, we're gonna be in, in serious risk. So again, I think that's going to be it for this update. I hope everyone got good information from it regarding the, uh, the new evacuation warnings, closures, it, you know, et cetera, and what's going on with this thing. Um, just again, I can't stress it enough. Just please hold this area in your, in your thoughts and prayers. Um, I believe in that stuff. I believe it does help. So um, thank you guys again. Thank you for the support, even though I can't wait to do my snow videos again because that's what this channel is all about. But since I've not been courageous enough to be a firefighter, this is at least what I can do to try to bring something, some information out there to you guys. So take care, everybody. Hope you have a good week. And again, keep us in your prayers. Love you all very much. I'll talk to you later.